Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Production Den. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your normal keyboard from your laptop or your desktop that you type with and turn that into a mini keyboard. Let's jump in. So let's dive into how we can set this up so that we can use our keyboard, our actual keyboard to play chords um, in FL Studio. So the first thing you're going to notice is this button right up here. This is the typing keyboard to piano keyboard. So we want to turn that on. And then I'm actually going to go down here to packs, instruments, keyboard, and then I'm going to choose the grand piano. I'm going to left click and drag it over here. So it opens that up. And then what you're going to see is we'll also open up uh, the piano roll. And if I type Z, that's the C4. So that bottom row from Z, X, C, V, B is all the white keys. And then the next row, we're going to do the next row of white keys, which is Q. And that starts at C5 and goes all the way up. And then your black keys. And the same thing up here. So you basically have two full octaves that you can work with on this. So when you want to do chords, you can just press those three um, buttons that make up the chord. I'm just going to do simple triads. So we'll just do something like that. So let's see where our um, metronome is at. Let's slow that way down. Let's bring that down to like 86. So let's do something like that. So what we'll do is we'll right click on this, press um, right click on the record button, make sure that notes is selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this chord progression using the keyboard. So let's go ahead and click the record button up here. So now, when we look at what we just created, we have an entire chord progression that we just made just with a keyboard. And uh, I played everything just on the white key, so that means that we're operating the key of C. But if you, say, wanted to be in a different key, you could highlight all those notes, and then you could use Shift and go up or down, and now give you the same chord progression but you can put it into different keys so let's say we wanted to work in the key of E so we could move it up the four semitones and that will bring us into E so now this progression sounds like this So one of the things that you'll notice is all of the velocities are the same. Um, so one of the things that we could do is come down here and do randomize the levels of the velocity. So we could come down here and randomize that velocity and then just go ahead and accept that. And you can adjust individual ones by control and clicking on that note and then you can use your alt and uh, your mouse scroll wheel and that will allow you to adjust the individual velocities so that's one way that we could 
uh, vary it up a little bit. So let's press control again and then drag all the way around these. And then let's go into here and we're also going to do a um, quick legato, which will stretch all the notes out. For some reason here, let's just completely chop that one off so we'd have to go back in and grab that one. Same thing happened over here since it was ahead of it. So we just grab an edge of it and then go all the way there. So then we've done a quick legato, so that'll spread all the notes out. And then if you wanted even more variation to make it a little bit more human, you could actually add in some strum to it. Yeah. So what that does is just offset your beginning notes a little bit so that they don't hit all at the same time. And that's just a way, a couple quick ways that you can use just a regular keyboard to quickly lay down some chords, change the keys if you need to. Um, also add in a little bit of variation with the velocity of how they're played and lengthen out the notes and then adjust where each note hits so it doesn't look like everything's occurring right at the same time. Uh, so those are just a few ways to, to use the keyboard but then humanize it a little bit more. So hopefully that was helpful to be able to see how to use your regular keyboard as a MIDI keyboard and then also some different ways that you can actually humanize what you do a little bit more by varying the velocities and offsetting where everything hits and stretching out the notes a little bit. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please subscribe down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next round.